WIFC Universe. This is uh, this is WIFC Talk. I am here with some special guests today. We are going to be talking about the upcoming WIFC WrestleMania and WrestleMania 30. So, uh, so guys, let's let's start off here with the pre-show from WrestleMania 30, which was the uh, the tag match. What was your opinion on what occurred in that match? And do you think the outcome? Should we introduce good ourselves? Oh yeah, yeah. Introduce yourself as you say your opinion. Anderson, start. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Mr. Anderson. Um, part of the uh, group, uh, Hitman, and in the fraction of DX, soon to have demolition. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so what, what was your opinion on the match? Ariella. Hey, what was your opinion on the match? The pre-show, the match. Oh, my God. It's like a... All right. Anderson. Yeah. What was your opinion Sorry, on the pre-show? Sorry, I'm having... Oh, my God. It was... God. So, what was it? Do you think it's it was... very nice. If uh, I didn't really like that the Usos retained because they're not, you know, I think the real American should have won that match. It I really do. But I'm would. glad they broke up because Jack Swagger was just run, running Cesaro into the ground. Yeah, Jack Swagger was really ruining Cesaro's name. So uh, who's next? Uh, Ted. 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 I don't think Ted's back. All right. What about? Oh, yeah. yeah. Ted. Uh, Ted. Ted, what was your opinion on the match? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I wish um, someone else except the Us- Usos won. Which team? Because I don't think they're like the ready yet to be tied the title holders. They are kind of new. So, out of the four, who do you think should have won? Yeah. Real Americans. All right. What about uh? Yeah, real Americans. Then Sincara, what's your opinion? I actually agree with them. I don't like the Usos, no matter what. I don't like them. I don't really think they're tag team material, but yeah, the real Americans definitely would have won. Definitely should have won that actually. Now, I have a crazy opinion that Rybaxel should. Yeah, but down. Cesaro's like he's a good superstar, but um, Jack Swagger. Yeah. Now. I think if yeah, but think. Won, got it. Let's... What the fuck was that? It <laughs> <laughs> sounded like your mic farted, dude. <laughs> 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 but anyway, um. I actually think, out of craziness, that Rybaxel should have taken the title. It would have caused a lot of controversy and would have given them a really big push. It would have. It would have. Okay, so, uh... Okay, next, so, uh, next... Next topic, because I'm hearing myself. Next topic, because I'm hearing myself. <laughs> Holy shit, I hear that, too. <laughs> <laughs> right, What's wrong uh, with your mic? Right. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. All right, there. There. Cesaro winning the, uh... The Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Now, I want to get Cesaro's opinion on this since Cesaro won. Oh, man, Cesaro what's did. up? Your opinion on Cesaro winning the Battle Royal? Oh, man, that was just crazy. How he lifted up the big show and everything. Now, yeah. do you think he should have just straight up, like, what would you think would have happened if Big Show would have had a reversal and thrown Cesaro over the top rope? Uh, Riot. Yeah, it, it it was. Everybody expected Big Show to win, so I mean, yeah, it wouldn't have been any been anything big. That's true. What it wouldn't have made WrestleMania as memorable as it really was. Now, uh, Ted, you got any say on this? Mm. Well, um, that the final two was kind of like WrestleMania three, in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Really. It really, really lived Hulk Hogan because and Andre. Because the colors yeah. they were wearing and all that stuff, it was just, it was too perfect. It was weird, almost. Except yeah. The only difference is one, the only difference is Cesaro's bald and, you know, Hogan was probably wearing a bandana. Was he wearing a bandana? No, he wasn't wearing a bandana at that time. No. Mm-hmm. He didn't start wearing his bandana until WCW, right? Yeah. Yep. All right, so, uh, yeah, H- Hogan probably had his... Was probably bald actually, but with that hair in the back, the long hair in the back. All right, so next yeah. topic. Oh shit! Uh, again, John Cena versus Bray Wyatt. I keep like misclicking and skipping. Oh my god! Terrible ending, right? Yes. Worst ending ever. Uh, 
Whoa, I wanted to see I mean, Cena lose so bad. I thought it was so freaking terrible. Just Bray Wyatt should have won that match. It was freaking. Right. Can I say my? Can I say my opinion on this yeah, though? Yeah, yeah, go for it. All right. So, personally, I think this this has been stirring for a while. I think Bray Wyatt should have won. John oh, Cena should have came you. and attacked Bray Wyatt after the match, turning thank Cena you. heel after using a chair. That, that, then the year that would turn him a super heel. Cena's a bigger heel than the whole Whoa. thing. Okay, can I talk? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I think Cena winning that didn't really give him much, but if Bray Wyatt would have won, that would have gave him a lot. That's, yeah, I, yeah. I agree with that. Actually. The writers made the stupidest decision they could have made. I mean, the, though it did give Bray Wyatt a signature thing when he did that creepy crab walk when John Cena was going for that uh, yep. <laughs> for that five knuckle shuffle, that's, which five knuckle shuffle, which is an ironically inappropriate term if you don't know, because I once heard a a Fruity Pebbles commercial say five knuckle shuffle in your face. Do you know what five knuckle shuffle is? You know what it's short for, right? It was it was during John Cena's like rap era. It dude, it's short for jagging off. <laughs> <laughs> and I shit you not. I'm just gonna straight up say that. I don't care. I don't care if people get over in the W, if in the WIFC universe hear this. It's straight up jacking off. <laughs> so he told oh my me God. to jack off pretty Jesus couples Christ. in the face. Well, is anyway. that is that why he says you can't? Is that why he says you can't see me because no. Nobody likes getting yeah, walked in on. Yeah. <laughs> or the fact that he shoots, you know what? Yeah, she's on your face. face. Yeah. All right, so next topic, because I thought that was a funny way to end it. So, yeah, shit ending. <laughs> yeah. Daniel Bryan. That. No. Everyone has a different opinion. He should not have won. Thank he you. should not have won that. He should not have won that. Triple H should have won that. Triple H should have won that, definitely. Yeah, I think um, Triple H will uh, be good at the uh, champion again. I think yes, uh, I, I don't know about that. You know that Daniel Bryan Punk, is not sure. Punk was supposed to be in Daniel Bryan's spot. Punk was really? supposed in the match. He was supposed to face Triple H. It was supposed to be a triple threat match all the way through. He he was just gonna give Daniel Bryan what he wanted, but since Punk walked out, he they had to figure something out. So they they had to choose an opponent for Triple H for Mania. So they chose Daniel Bryan. I'm, but the I'm, um, ending I'm for the. Um, the triple threat match was a pretty good ending. Yeah. That, I'm kind of glad that Daniel Bryan won, though. I, like, if you I really think glad. about it, Evolution getting back together was really nice. Well, yeah. I mean, that was well, awesome. like, Daniel Everyone Bryan, knew Daniel Bryan was going to win anyways. Yeah, it was Damn, just, I lose. They had, <laughs> they had to have, I think, they should have had Batista win. So going into SummerSlam, it would be the Beast versus the Animal. That would be an awesome oh. match. Brock Lesnar. That would be Batista. awesome. That would be awesome. Brock Lesnar would destroy him, but still would be a great match. <laughs> but I'd still want to uh, see that. Yeah. That that Brian Triple H match was really good. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. honestly thought Triple H the whole time because they're like they're not going to give the people what they wanted. They're not going to give them what they wanted because WWE writers. They've been doing that for about six months. They, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was it was well deserved for Brian. The writers seem to be yeah. the writers seem to be smarter all of a sudden because they were like they used to be like monkeys with keyboards but now they're freaking Einstein. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just like you know what? Let's give them, let's give them what they want. Yeah, because like, because they were losing they were losing viewers. That's why. Yeah, because they yeah. they would make up those facts. Oh, Raw had was the most seen, da, 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 but they would just make up these facts yeah. when it's really like would they really. So WWE that, they, really have the time to look that up, anyways. I mean, yeah, they, like, hey, because I mean, the, the only anal analyze the analysis expert I know of that they have on their staff is Alex Riley, and he's not even yeah. a full time analyst. He <laughs> no, it for a living, he just analyzes <laughs> wrestling. All right, so yeah. let's move on to the next topic. the The end of the streak. Do you guys think it was the right time? Or no, a terrible time to end it. No. Not at all. No, it was a terrible time to end it. I wanted, I think, Taker should have just retired with the streak. You know, they should have, right? They should have had Taker, they should have, they should have Tanker win, 
And then WrestleMania 31, since Sting already signed the WWE, that should that should have been a match. Well, the thing is, and then Sting Undertaker is too old. He he's 49 years old. I mean, yes, there's people who's gone older, but Undertaker's been through some of the most brutal matches you've seen in WWE history. So I mean, you can't if, expect this guy to continue yeah. after facing just a super athlete like Brock Lesnar. I mean, he put. If, has if you, you ever really been think about it, all Brock, his WrestleMania matches, he's um holds his leg. He, he always hurts his leg. That's his uh, Yeah. Guy. It's like John Cena's elbow. F5 didn't help. So, uh, I, my um, personal um, opinion, you guys I, know, is I was so slap happy when Brock Lesnar beat the streak. And <laughs> Why were you happy? Why were you happy for that? Because I love Brock Lesnar. You guys should know Oh, that's that is. He is my hero. But anyway. <laughs> he's a pot tackle. Did you guys know that? Um, I, hold on, I, I have my I have my own opinion on this. Hear me out. All right. Okay. Brock uh, Brock Lesnar and and The Rock could form a team and call it the Part Time Players, and that's why I didn't. <laughs> well, that's why I didn't want Brock Lesnar to win because he's only there half the time. Did you guys You're gonna know? have somebody win. It has to be somebody new, and they should push him straight after that. You guys read the article about that shocked fan, right? The, oh, what? Uh, that, I, yeah. oh, the guy, the if black you, guy with the face or whatever. If, yeah, if you end up looking back at that, he, he was actually he was hitting the barricade, he, yelling "Get him, Brock!" during the match. It was if you watched him, he was. Yeah, can can I tell Brock. my opinion? Yeah, go for it. Uh, I read that. I was I was at WrestleMania like that whole week, so I was there to witness all of this and. uh Man, whenever they counted to three, it was it was pretty emotional. <laughs> Were you crying? Um, not really, but I was on the verge of it, man. They told children that children were crying. They're like, the match doesn't count. It's not a real match. It doesn't count. No. Because that's fake. that's uh that's seven that's seventeen years of my life, man. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, that's been it's been a huge part of my life too. But I've just kind of I'm over it. But I. I think Brock was one of the guys that should have ended it, cause Undertaker respected the hell out of him, dude. If you heard Undertaker yeah. talk about him, he the way he talked about Brock Lesnar is like the way he talked about Kane. They had a mutual respect for each other, and actually, the ref heard Brock Lesnar whisper "thank you" to the Undertaker after the match. Well, if if Taker didn't have a concussion, that match would have been a lot better. It would have went yeah. longer, and it would have yeah. ended more interesting. I think he. Mm -hmm. I think they would have ended it honestly with the Kamora lock tap out, if anything. I think but that would have been just, a true way to end the streak. Is if you really yeah. end the streak, you end it by breaking the Undertaker. Here. Yeah. Well, but just just the way it ended is, it's terrible. Yeah, they should have made yeah, it after so the match. Go Nobody in the after after that, like everybody in the arena, it, everything was sucked out of them. Yeah. But then, yeah, then they started cheering, yes, right after when Daniel Bryan. So, all right, so next yeah. topic. Ultimate Warrior. Oh, I'm gonna... The death of Ultimate Warrior. Oh, that's... Oh, that's I want to cry. <laughs> like, really, oh, wait, he died. Yeah. And then, no, Nancy Grace, he died because of the use of steroids. My yeah. ass. Fuck Nancy Grace. Oh, oh, it's called died the My way. ass. Died Wait, but my for, first, did uh, did anybody see that the the documentary on WWE Network? No, I, I yeah, I watched network. that. I watched it a little. That was very emotional. I didn't get to see it because uh, they they uh, interviewed him like days before he died. When I used to did, did you see the thing? Did you see the thing on WWE.com where they completely blackballed Nancy Grace? <laughs> they yeah. Yes. Yeah. I saw. It. That's awesome. Because like, hey, look at this. Look at this. I'm just like, what? And I'm like, oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, Tim, he was talking shit about her. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Whore. Look at the mock. Look at the mock here. <laughs> look at the hater. She hates all you. How, how could uh, Owen Hart have died from steroids? I, I know. Yeah, so, like, oh, he died of steroids. They don't want the heart to die from falling off of like a, like a bungee. That was, Owen, that was Owen Hart. He died. That was on a heart. Yeah. Yeah, and what does she think? He, he was so facing strong. Bret Hart. He, he was facing Bret Hart at SummerSlam, and he fell from his from the glide there. Because he was doing this whole superhero persona, and everyone yeah, knew, and then, um, yeah. Everyone yeah, knew it was Hart, but he... Yeah, but... How do we get from yeah. Ultimate Warrior to Owen Hart? 
because, I don't because someone because someone changed the subject that's why. so as i was saying ultimate warrior oh, okay that would have been my fault i i saw a lot of his old matches he was one of the best intercontinental champions ever he yeah that's why i think which one did you like the best yeah yeah um his yell the one one with the yellow belt when he had it that was really cool. That, I love that title, dude. That's the best one he's... When he, when he took it from Honky Tonk Man? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Then when he combined the Intercontinental and the World title, that was awesome, too. That was the only good part oh. about his death was um how he saw him on Monday Night Raw well, the day before he died. And he that, said that yeah, was... That was eerie. That was really eerie. Oh, yeah. And but then like, he said every said, man beats like his, beats his life, bro. Yeah. And that <laughs> made me think. Hold on. I was like... I I had a, I have a theory right now. I have a theory. Okay. I'm thinking he planned what it if? maybe, or knew what about it. it. Yeah, like, he planned what, it. What it. Like, I think he knew on. it was gonna uh, die soon, but he didn't know when. He knew it was soon, so he had to make that change. Yeah. What if What if it was like this? Just um, what if he got told by a doctor days before mean that he's gonna die, and it was set up where he got inducted into the Hall of Fame, and then on Monday. Like he came out on Monday for no absolute reason except for the speech, and then he, then he says that, and like it's almost like he knew he was gonna die, and immediately it kicked yeah, in for yeah. me like oh he a doctor told him, and then Tuesday he dies. The it weirdest, just, I think the weirdest thing is that at WrestleMania he looked great, and seriously he was doing that. He looked great in the Hall of Fame induction. He looked like he did, he didn't look he looked like absolutely fine. But then the day after, yeah. he looks weak. He looks like he was struggling to get in the ring. Oh yeah, and then whenever he shook the rope, man. Yeah, he... when he looked, when he shook the rope, it was not. That was no Ultimate Warrior shake. I'm looking at a picture of him right now, dude. He did not. He is way off from what he looked like back in the day, dude. And like you I said, being post- there, being there personally, yeah. <coughs> yeah. he so, was really out of you it. Want, yeah. He, you know what would have been more creepier if Scott Hall what? died? Because after he said, um. He said, like his quote, like um, bad, bad, bad something bad. doesn't bad last, time. but bad li- bad guys do. And like, what if he died like the day after WrestleMania? Bad times don't last forever, but get bad guys do. Yeah, bad, bad guys, guys do. Yeah. yeah, I love that speech. That, he had the best speech. That was pretty good. But it was yeah. Mr. T just talked about his mom, so I'm not even. Gonna... <laughs> Dude, that was hilarious. <laughs> had the best speeches. Him and Warrior definitely had the best speeches. So, yep. Jake, Jake the Snake had a good one, but you couldn't really hear him. Did you know he got accused of raping a snake once? What? Yeah. What? He got what? accused of raping Where'd a snake. Where'd you hear this from? from Where'd you hear this from? I saw an article of WWE superstars that ha- are were accused of crimes, and then I looked into it, and he actually was accused. Wait, how can you rape a snake? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Like, the only hole they have in their body. Okay, so let's, okay, move, wait, well, I'll stop it. let's move on to the next topic before this gets awkward. <laughs> but rip ultimate. I'm gonna look I'm gonna look into that one. How do you rape a snake? I'll be back. I'm gonna look into that one. Give me like give me like thirty seconds. I'm gonna look into that one. Okay. Hey guys. So basically uh, Rip Ultimate Warrior, he was best performer ever. Basically. And all uh, time. then yeah. okay, just give me like ten seconds. I'm gonna cut out real quick. Then I'm gonna Okay, never mind, never mind. I'm sitting back. I'm sitting back. I'm sitting back. No, 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 no. That's bad. That's disgusting. What? I saw like the images and stuff. Some guy was like, sorry. Some guy was like holding the snake, and then they're like, it's like there's a video of it. There's a video of how to rip a snake. I'm just like, you know what? No, I'm okay. I'm not gonna watch this. Yeah, dude. That's called um. That's called animal porn. That's something you do not want to watch, but sorry, I had to I had to move because I got kicked out of a room, so. You <laughs> uh, got kicked out of your own room. No, I got kicked out of a room. I'm not even in my own house. <laughs> I'm staying at my... I'm, like, you got kicked out of your room. I'm staying really? at my relatives for a week. Or a few... Oh, for a weekend. Okay, um, next topic, uh, WIFT WrestleMania. Wait, yeah, WIFT yeah. WrestleMania, okay, so. Can't wait. New tag team champions, me and Goldberg. I'm sorry if one of the Hardys <laughs> is watching this, but you know what? It's the truth. It's it's the absolute <laughs> utter truth, dude. Hitmen are, we're going to get inducted into that WIFT Hall of Fame, man. We're Hall gonna, of Fame. We are going to be Hall of Famers. 
I swear. First ballot. I'll be taking my title. I'm going to be honest here. In my opinion, I think the Hitman, I'm sorry, Hardy, but I think they are going to win because you guys have been on a streak. We've, like, I've seen I've some been, of this fight. Yeah. We've all been in a, on a winning streak. Every single one. I think I'm going to retain against AJ Styles because, I mean, I love the guy. He's a great guy, but he he's a he's good. He is good, but his votes, I beat him one time 24 to 2. Yeah. It was. Really? Yeah. It was. It was it was during the Biggie time when Biggie was scheduling all these uh, matches against me and AJ facing each other every single week. But anyway, yeah, and so then Big e <laughs> yeah, that the Money nope. in the Bank ladder match, that's gonna be a nice one. That's gonna be a. I think really Dallas Page is gonna win. Yeah, Go, D. yeah D. I'm, actually voting, for, I'm actually voting for Dallas. I, D. I'm sorry, but I'm actually I'm voting for Dallas. Oh shit! One yeah. yeah, I had Dallas I had on my show earlier. There. And my TV, but I'm voting for Dallas. Yeah, DDP is, seems to be the fan favorite right now. But I think if I get, I think the show might help me out, but because yep. But I think I'm gonna. I think I got a shot if he cashes in on me. He might not cash in. He might cash in on the, uh, on the WCW one because that one's gonna be if Robo wins it, it's gonna become the equivalent of my title. So. Um. Actually, yeah. I've talked to him before. I actually kind of know it's gonna head up, but I'm kind of not allowed to say that. Cause we talk, we talk a good amount, and I, I, I kind of know what's up a little bit uh, throughout. But yeah, again, that's gonna be spoiling. That's gonna be spoiling a lot of stuff. And yeah, that's He's no fun for anybody. Me, isn't it? He's gonna cash in on me, isn't he? Well, I, I just had a question and answer thing with him on Kick for my show, and uh, we talked, we covered a lot of things. So. All right. So how about we answer some of these questions? Yeah, I find questions? a lot of Let's question uh, answer some of these questions from iFunny real quick. From okay. commenting okay. on this my picture. I think one of them was actually someone who's on the show right now. No, uh, I know I didn't. All right, let's all take let let's all take turns because all right. like five people so, talking at once. Isn't... Who wants to answer a question first? Me. I'll do some mine for my last show too. Okay. All right. Because I want to hear your guys' opinions on these topics. Uh... All right, so yeah. let's start with. Uh, let's start with Cesaro. How do you feel about the Taker okay. streak ending and his future in WWE? None. He's retired. Taker doesn't have a Taker doesn't have a future in WWE besides WrestleMania 31 against Sting. I mean, even if it does happen, All right. you know, he's yeah. what. It, what is he? Yeah. What, what is he without his streak? He's absolutely nothing. He's based, He's an old man. That's all he is. He's an old man that yeah. likes to imitate dead people. His streak the streak is a... was his, the streak was really? his everything. The streak got yeah. taken away from him. I think Paul Bearer's death kind of contributed <laughs> to the end of the streak. I know it sounds weird, but... I think, the streak it, was I, I think without Paul That might Bearer, have been it. All right, so, uh, Anderson. Yes. Uh, how do you Mr. feel Anderson, about... Anderson, Anderson, How do you feel about the, uh... Cena I died. Should why should Bray Wyatt beat Cena at Extreme Rules and under what yes. conditions? Uh yes, and by pin under by Sister Abigail. By Sister. But there's more. There's there's more. There's more to the story or whatever. Apparently, I read this someplace where they were saying about how Sister Abigail or Karma or whatever her name is, is way back when. Sister Abigail. Sister Abigail, and she's gonna be like a fourth member of the Y family, and she's gonna win like the Divas title, or something like that, from I, one of the Bellas. I, I don't could, know Paige is gonna be. I could actually see that, cause I I honestly don't like Karma though. She her Karma character was terrible. Yeah. But her entrance theme though was great. <laughs> like the laugh, whatever. I don't know. One minute, guys. <laughs> Oh, All right. Damn it. So next question. Um. Let me. Uh, let's me. see. Who wants that next? Uh, okay. Let me see. I'll what it is. Sin Cara. Sin Cara. I'll take it. Yeah. Will Sting fight Undertaker at WrestleMania 31? Um, I'm saying he probably should. I, I honestly would rather see the streak end by Sting than Brock Lesnar in all circumstances. I don't know yeah. if the U.S. have anything against me, but yeah, that's in my opinion, yeah. How do you think Sting will beat The Undertaker if he faces The Undertaker, and vice versa if Sting were to lose to Undertaker? 
Um, to under, to with Sting and the Undertaker, I'm guessing that well, how he always beats his every opponent, the Tombstone, or most of them. Yeah. Uh, and except for, for Sting, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, yeah except for Triple H. <laughs> and I'm not really sure about how Sting's gonna beat the Undertaker, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, Sting might end up actually defeating the Undertaker. And then this special one for uh, Ted. Do you think Pipe uh-huh. Bomb Jeff Hardy is the sexiest cabbage around? <laughs> oh my! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I'm gonna say. You hurt no. his feelings. You have to be honest. Uh, oh, dude. you hurt his feelings. You don't You're hurting his feelings. You don't watching love this. the sexy cabbage, dude. Love you have to. Dude, love the cabbage. You have to love the You have to love the cabin. Let, let's get to some questions I answered from my last show. Actually, wait, no, I got another question from uh, from Gunner. Uh, I'll take that. Okay, why why do you think that the newcomers in WW, uh, WIFC don't get that many matches? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I, I, I know this feeling because I was I'm still a new I'm still I was a newcomer before it happened to me a lot. I kind of know this. All right, go for it. Um, I think it's because well nobody want I don't think it's because anyone wants to face a new but I think they actually want to face someone who they know they have a chance of um, giving them a fight. And I know ever since I started here I've been on a roll. I was. A I won guy. the European Championship. <laughs> I faced parties. I've been on a good one. Hey, Dude, I was can, a new can, guy and I won the title in 10 days. Can I say something? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Me, as in the Division A, as Cesaro, uh, I, I, get a, I get a lot of matches. So I don't know what he's talking about. Well, Division A, he, I, he's in Division A, so I think he's talking about the main Ooh, roster. Me? Uh, I, no, no, I'm not in Division Gunner. A no more. I left Gunner. Division A. I'm talking about Gunner. Oh, okay. the oh, question. Oh, oh. Hold on, no, hold on. I, I have, can't an, stand I have an guys. opinion on. I have an opinion on this. Yeah. Um, just I have an opinion on newbies just in general. If any of them are watching this, I'm sorry, but like, uh, yeah, if you here. don't know the ropes, if you don't know the ropes, get somebody to manage you to tell you what you're doing wrong. I mean, you can't book yourself in matches. I saw. The new Bray Wyatt or whatever saying somebody tell Seth that I have a match at Mania. Yeah. And I was uh, just about ready to flip out and tell him you can't just do that. You I, can't I saw that as well. The new Bray Wyatt think- also books matches for an hour, which is totally uncalled for. I, I like the guy, but that's totally uncalled for. I've seen for. one of his matches before. Matches should be 10 to 20 minutes. And if they're a big time match... 30 to 45 but, minutes. Yeah. I mean, well, I was a like dude. WrestleMania. WrestleMania is hour long yeah. matches. This, yeah. this is not hour long matches, just a match on your pro. He, he was asking to be on my show, and I didn't know. I don't know about that. Well, I was a newbie. Uh, that was when, like, the AFC started. Like, so there really wasn't that matches around. Yeah. Who, who else is there a newbie? Oh, um,. I'm the still kind Batista. of a newbie, but not anymore. I the new Batista. Batista. The new Batista? Oh, I I faced him in a Hell in a Cell match that I didn't even know was happening and tied with him, so... <laughs> I didn't even know the match was occurring, and we tied. <laughs> it was bold. Yeah. I think I saw that. I, what do you think we need to do about getting matches that are, like, on schedule and people know that they're matches? Do you think that Seth and them should tell people they have their matches, or do you think you just let them drown? Tell people. I think Seth, yeah. yeah, you should tell people. Because whenever I'm in a match, I usually like have someone like, hey, if you tell me that if I ever have a match and you tell me, I'll tell you if you ever have a match. And it usually works out, yeah. And I'm always, I'm, now I'm always aware that if I have a match, whether I know I, about I it or not. I didn't know I had a match. I didn't know Edge was my number one contender. <laughs> you didn't know Edge was your number one contender? How'd you oh, know? Guys, <laughs> guys, I found out I'm making, an, I'm making an official announcement. The yeah. Randy Orton is holding the IC title. Watch out, for Mr. Anderson. A number one contender is going to be coming up for that what? quite soon. So what is what? I'm not. I know this is kind of a weird question, but you know that guy, Division A, Barrett, the guy I gave my show to, Barrett Barrage. Oh yeah. What do you think? Yeah, of him? the new one. Yeah. What do you think of him? Do you think he? Do you think oh, he has a, a shot at making it big time? <laughs> yeah, I think he has a shot of making it. I'm gonna beat him Monday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, triple threat. 
Triple threat. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat you instead. Let's go. <laughs> I'm guaranteed. I'm guaranteed. If well, there's a match, I want to be in it. If there's a match, I want to be in it. My so my total matches match. for the Intercontinental Championship on Monday. You know what? So. Good luck. Yeah, he's. A I, I don't really know that. I don't really know the new Bray or yeah or yeah the new um Barrett with the IC. I don't I, even know him that well. I've just seen him win. I've seen him win. I'm just like, oh, good for you. You won a match. You won your first title. My um, Hawko's right. uh, title championship, I have screwed Mankind over because he was supposed to get the next shot. Mankind, nice guy, Mankind. Right, um, He's so cool. Oh. He's chill. But ha Okay, so next question. Hold, hold on. This is oh. the last show. All right, go, what are you saying? Go for it. Hey. Hello. <laughs> yeah? Go for it. You were, you were saying something. Oh, uh, yes. Um... I've heard this from Randy, the, I don't even remember his name, but it's the Randy Orton who has the IC title in WFC. I've heard that he is now defending that weekly, and I yeah. am going to set myself up for the first week. Now that's interesting. Wait, who's, the, who's, wait, who's, who's defending the title? Who's putting their title on the line and what? Because that was the paying attention. <laughs> The, Rand the Randy Orton IC title. So He's putting it on the line every week after WrestleMania if he wins. So I'm gonna vote for him on, Mon I want on Monday. I want to on Monday. I want to screw him over and win that title. Like, can I have your guys' votes? Yeah, you got my vote. Yeah, if you got my, if you lose, I'm gonna go for the next week. I, I'll let you my vote if you if you let me yours. So I'm gonna do that. That's all I'm asking. I think can I, get I think I should make my last show. Can I get a question from the last show? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, what do you guys think of the current WWE Divas division? Oh God. Uh, um, <laughs> oh God. It's not. It's not even wrestled. It. It's it, mostly um, just like. It's total like, divas. That's basically all it is. That's all the, only, the only. It's, it's the only. The only two people that matter in that. The only two people that matter in that, AJ Lee and Paige. I mean, think about it. Saying, the rest of them yeah. are either married <coughs> to somebody else, and they are W H O R E S. I know my parents are going to be the Bellas are. That word. The Bellas are. Or dating. No. Who the fuck they are showing. Or dating a superstar. So, um, God. We, need, we need more yeah. Trish Stratus, Lita's, China, those kind of people. Exactly. Yeah. Which ironically, like, we need more. Do you guys know what China's doing for a living now? Isn't Why? she an English teacher? No, no, that's far off. That's the complete opposite side of the ball, dude. Let me guess, she's a porn star. Yep. Yeah. You hit the nail. Right oh now. my god! <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I actually. Uh, I'll, 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 I, don't I, ask why, but like I was on the internet. She's a man. I saw that. I saw that coming. Didn't I know it. <laughs> I've heard this from I certain know. people. China. China made a porn with X Pac. Mm -hmm. yep. Yes. Oh, yeah. I've heard this. Okay. How, now, how do you guys feel about the whole CM Punk situation? Ooh, that's a touchy topic right there. Which one? W WWE heel or the w real WWE? The real thing? WWE CM Punk. Um. Why do you think he walked? I out want of him company? back. Why do you think he walked out of the company though? It, oh, I know this. Uh, I know this. He, he didn't want to. He didn't want to face have, Triple H at WrestleMania. I have I have actually been told this by um my uh manager who actually knows CM Punk because he used to wrestle at the minor shows. This is what he tells me. He actually has CM Punk's phone number. This is what he tells me. He tells me this. He said he he walked out because he was um he knew that they were losing viewers because they weren't giving what the fan what the fans want. <laughs> No, go in the wrong direction. I think that I I like Punk, but he has a huge ego. He has one of the biggest egos in WWE. It's. I agree. He has his e he is one of the biggest egos in the company, which I think that him and John Cena, their egos no, are too big for one company. That's the problem. Then you should remove John Cena. Everyone will be happy. Boom. Yeah, right that's what they need to do. Who the heck's making all that noise? What noise? It's like they're moving and there's like music. <laughs> if someone's playing video game, I'm turn just it off. Hey guys, y'all, I, I may have paused you by the way. Oh no, I can't. Alright. What I, is uh, that? I, this oh, yeah, this may be. This may <laughs> be truthful, this may not be. Guys, just hear me out on this. AJ Styles comes to WWE, faces John Cena. 
Top face versus top face. Match of the year right there. AJ Styles wins right there. I'm voting for AJ right there. Yeah, so, uh, AJ. How about, how about this? What do you guys think of the... Do you think we need less titles in WIFC? Yes. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah both of them. Yeah, they have like out of a... any titles you need to cut out, which one do you think we need to cut out the most? Hardcore. Uh, okay. I don't think Tribute needs its own title, honestly. I'm gonna, yes. I'm going to spew the truth here. And the, like, they did, like, the U.S. Biddle title. I don't think that should be there. I don't think the WWE US. Spinner title should be there either. I don't even understand why we have that. That's held by a guy who's been <laughs> AFK for a year. <laughs> not literally. Like, like even more like by titles, I don't think we need that either. Hey guys, Wait, hold on. Here's what's something on it. Yeah. I have something honest to say. <laughs> who, who, which champ, guys, who, which champ, guys, who in the WFC have you seen with a title that hasn't posted in weeks? Like, or about a week? Because if, yeah, if they have a title, yeah, if they have a title on. Yeah, if they have a title and they're not like defending it at all, I'm gonna be honest here. I think it should be stripped from them, giving it to someone who at least tries. I try. And oh, no, like, way, yeah, I, Brock. I know. I know Brock tries because I've seen a post to get him out. I get shut down because just, of. Dude, um, I try all. Because Seth and Rick don't want me participating in matches, so because they don't want their champion to have a bad uh, rep. When it's not That's on show. Bad. I, Oh, that's not on the show, so, like, regularly? Yeah, like, oh, regular wait. title defense. They don't want their big-time champ to be losing. Because, I mean, I did come back and beat the uh, original Cesaro in a match that I shouldn't have won. Yeah. I hear people whisper. All right. That's on wait, my wait, side wait. right here. Uh, I did my original side. Cesaro? Uh, how about <laughs> the original Cesaro? Yeah, he's, um... He was he was really big. He Wait, Brock, didn't I face Brock? Didn't I face you before? Like, the didn't I face you before? Guy? Who? Wait. Like when you did? That was them. That was someone else, I think. Cause I faced someone else, and they said they were They didn't know they had a match against oh, me. Oh, that was me. Yep. I, oh, yeah. The, it was like, Zala. It's like I didn't know. That's that's what. I thought you asked. He knew. I'm just like, he did he knew or no? And you're like, I didn't know. I'm just like, oh shit, he didn't know. Okay, and then that's, we started then. You want you understand what where I'm coming from, right? I mean, yeah, I understand that because I had that happen to me too. I'm just like, oh shit, I didn't know I had this match. And you're like, oh fuck, that's gonna kill my record. <laughs> my, I used that's to. That's like, uh, okay, yeah. Right? I guess when we start creating this. When I used to act like an asshole, I used to say, because I was kind of a heel back in the day, <laughs> I used to say. I that, am here right now. I, so. used to, I used to be like, oh, that match didn't count. No, that match, no, that match doesn't count towards my record. I was being like Sting with deleting the comments. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, I saw that. I'm just like, what is he doing? Because I, I saw in his matches, too. I saw the comment deleted. I'm just like, wait, the times are different. What, you, what is going on? What? Wait, did, didn't he go like, me didn't he go like 21 and 0? Yeah, me and Anderson yeah. pulled that pulled one over on him by uh, making yeah. it. Yeah, we yeah. Pulled, you guys we said pulled you the wall over his head. He, he, me he, and like, Brock were in that the whole time. <laughs> it was I kicked Brock. I, I, it was hilarious. I kicked Brock seconds before it hit the five minute mark and i'm like i'm gonna delete his comment you put another sting comment up there with zero votes and he didn't even look at the time he just looked at the vote count and he even posted something he even said congratulations mr anderson for beating sting and i'm like really how stupid can you be to not look at the times <laughs> so sorry sting, if you're sting, even, even i do sting, that i look at the time to make sure it's fair well is uh, mr anderson the only one here by hell of the cell match uh, I think. That is NXT. What? NXT. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think so. Oh, okay, whose mic was that? That hurt it a lot. Sounds like what? somebody choked on their mic. It sounds Honestly, like somebody I don't know if I, were, I was a heel on, but like, I was like hated. I'm currently a heel because of my um, rivalry with Dallas, remember? Loser leaves WIFC. We had so many people hating on Bubba and like half of them hating on me. Oh my god. I got challenged, like one person challenged me to uh, the same match. Guys, did you and I kind of I kind of have to reject because it would ruin the storyline. And oh my god, I, I had so much fun that time. Dude. I think Dallas also agreed with me, but when I'm not I too start, sure. When I started it's my different. rivalry with AJ, to tell the truth, I didn't even know I was in it. <laughs> Paul Heyman went <laughs> like, under my belt and put me in the storyline with AJ. 
And I embraced it at first, but then the thing that sent me over the edge was when Big E just threw in WWE heel. Yeah. Like, Added WWE heel to the rest. That was stupid. No, <laughs> fast the heel, you are gonna win anyways. Main event of WrestleMania, he just adds in WWE I've actually, heel. wait, have you guys ever actually beat a heel before? No. He's, he's no. Beat everyone. Only like three people have. Oh, in your faces, I actually got to beat him before. Well, that's I actually got to. I have a comment. I have a comment. Proof of my post. My funny. I have a proof. Proof. Blah. Hey, guys. Did you hear about... You met WWE Heal before? No, I got to, like, face him and beat him. I have a post on my profile, too. The last oh comment he said was what? Let me... F oh, it's on his profile. It's on Austin's, I think. Because I remember facing him. Dude. Lag. What's up with our third... With our... Anderson, what's up with our other group of three? You know how we're split into groups of three in DX now? With our opposite yeah. Venom? Venom? <laughs> yeah, Venom. What's up with them trying to troll Paul by getting members? That was so I'm weird. I'm not really sure about that. I'm trying to troll still Paul waiting for a... I, don't... I think Seth is um... ignoring me because I sent him that message 42 minutes ago about the demolition and he, I think he's ignoring me. I think he's. I think he hates me. When Robo tricked me earlier by making his picture Seth, it made me want to shoot myself. Cause I saw the name, <laughs> and I just. Oh, I Seth was doing me this. Uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, called Demolition, and he was just like. Oh yeah, today. I'm Robo. Cause uh, oh yeah, today <laughs> Steph. <laughs> but Steph is typing. <laughs> That's why he was typing. Attention. Attention, everyone watching WFC Talk. I know there's not a ton of you, but if you are watching this, look out. For the brand newest fraction, if Seth approves, which he probably will, because he was yeah, part of Demolution. Demolition. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, but I might have to actually talk next to this about this. It's like, hey, I'm sorry, but I'm, I might be joining um, Demolution. Demolution. Dude, if we get enough people and we just all make our picture Doug Demodome, we could all invade oh IW. We could invade IWA. <laughs> oh we should do that. We should do that. We should just invade it. like it's coming. <laughs> like, I don't think it's a uh, Corey Graves base. Oh my, oh my god. Because in Graves. real life, uh, Josh Corey. Matthews is Corey Graves' f friend. And then Josh Matthews retires, and now IWA has fallen to his knees, dude. Yes, it, it's it, Andrew. You should, we should take it over right now. Yeah, I mean, I swear. It's actually kind of good. Hey, hey, I, I, IWA people, if you watch this, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> this is gonna cause so much controversy. No, what about when Biggie Lansky left the WAFC to, with Billy with um Billy Gunn to make their new cup to make their company yeah, um, whatever it was up, called. Then they end up being <laughs> bought out by WAFC again. Yeah, and then Biggie Lansky came back, and then everyone from that company just left to come back to the WAFC. Exactly. Their followers of Biggie. Yep. They're Biggie's followers. What about what about WCW? <laughs> like on Twitter. What WCW. About? Oh my God, Hogan. There was so much hate. WCW can take their eight. They can their eight wrestlers, and they can go sh shove it where the sun don't the shine. Ended. Because I personally do not give Wait, a damn shit about he WCW. Ended WCW. He ended it like oh, yeah. so quick. We we invaded them Bro and started annoying the crap out of them. I just watched everyone argue Brock. over them. I'm just like, yep, fight for. I'm just like, yep, just fight. I'm gonna stay right here. And not botch anything up. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand right here. Bro, what? Goldberg was the leader of the invasion. Goldberg was the leader because he he said he wanted to join WCW, and they added him in the call. And then everybody left after they said it's just wanted to be you and Hogan. And then um, he and we're just like add us, add us, add us, add us, dude. Paul Heyman was just whipping out DX tanks from the picture. <laughs> <laughs> it was you guys needed DX has the most fun out of any Hold faction, it. dude. I have a question about this. Really fast. I know I haven't been here for like very long, but wh who is a WIFC murder? I've seen him post uh, like I once in a oh, while. Oh, he uh, he, he murder off superstars. I'm just like, what is this? Oh, it was like a Spock, I think. It was Spock the whole time. Spock yeah, had it was a profile Spock. and then I think he gave it to someone else. And now is a member of Div Division A, which Barrett destroyed him in the uh, triple <laughs> yeah. threat match for the title. <laughs> what about RoboCop? I think RoboCop. What's his record? I'm pretty sure he's on a streak so far. Yeah, I'm not really he's sure. On a streak. He's on a streak. I don't even think he's on a record. RoboCop's just a fun guy, dude. RoboCop's fun. Yeah. 
<laughs> I've never actually met him in person, but he seems like a nice guy. He is. Never actually met him in person, though. He's just fun to talk to, dude. Robocop, funniest superstar out there. If you're watching this, I'm giving you big kudos, man. Yeah, he's just huge. I wonder who's gonna I'm, I would actually like to watch all this. I kind of didn't uh, like him at first because uh, it was when I was fired, I think. Yeah, I was fired, and then, uh, oh. yeah, guys. Hey, guys, do you want Who, me to cut off recording? Whoever now? in the WF. Oh, wait, you were saying what? something? You want to finish off with a message? Yeah. If, if anyone in WIFC, oh, I have two messages, actually. If anyone in WFC watches this, post something. I swear to God, I want to know who watches. I want to know who heard about Demolution. And number two, look out behind all champions. Doesn't matter if you're tagged. Singles. Hello? <laughs> Hello? What just happened? Oh, I've got to say something about Edge. Okay. Yeah, you okay. cut out. You cut out. Can you say that again? All right. Anderson, say that again. You cut out. Yeah, I know. I'm going. Anyone who's in the tag team... Or the singles division. Look out for Hitman. We're coming for titles. We're coming for wins. Yeah, we're gonna annihilate, dude. You can't, you can't hold me down. I'll, I will combine any titles I need to with my title. I will do it. You'll see that sick Brock Lesnar logo coming down the ramp, and you're like, shit. There goes my, there goes my title. <laughs> there goes my belt. <laughs> I liked my title before I lost it. European title was mine. My first title. Wait, what was your guys' first title to ever win? W I F C uh, title. Who's the <laughs> Wait, Brock, did you say W I F C? Yeah. I think I won like, like two times in the same night. Dude, I want I won the oh. W I F C title ten days after my debut. I want it quicker than Shane you guys won the WWE. Do you guys want to hear something funny? Yeah. Well, I have never won a title life. before. I have been given a title, the three man tag team. I've been given that. I have never won a title. That's why wow. I'm going to win the tag titles at Mania. I'm coming for the IC title. Goldberg, hold it, hold you're it. going after the European. Right, I want so the European the, title, honestly. So let's finish off. I, the I had it before. It's pretty good. Because you feel like you're long guys, enough, guys, the European has the most guys, to do. Guys, come on. We're going to finish off with that message. So let's just. Guys. We'll keep talking after this. But. So, let me finish off. So we're finishing off. Sorry. Finishing on with that message. All right, so to the WIFC universe, this is Brock Lesnar. You guys say your names. And you're breathing. Sin Cara. Sir Bush a lot. Sir Bush a lot. Sir. Ah. <laughs> All right. And I am Sir Bush a lot. Sir Bush a lot at your service. So we got Sir Bush a lot. Uh, the rich guy Ted DiBiase. Cesaro. <laughs> Yours is so plain. <laughs> then we got the best member of the hit, one, the second, no, the equalest member of the hit, man. He's not the best, but he's not the worst. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Makes me name. feel honored. Say your name, dude. Okay. Do you, want, do you want the long version or do you want the short version? Whichever one's better. Yes. Okay, I've picked this one. Him. <clears throat> Mr. Anderson. So we got two. We got two people in the Hitmen. Hopefully next week we'll be able to come back with Goldberg in the convo. The three Hitmen doing some analysis. Maybe have a few guests. Bring Cesaro back in. All those guys. All right. So peace out, WIFC Universe. Bye.